Welcome to the Gospel of John. We're in chapter 20, and today we're going to look at verses 3 through 8. Let's read it straight away. But he answered and said to them, I will also ask you one thing and answer me. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or from men? And they reason among themselves, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Why Why then did you not believe him? But if we say from men, all the people will stone us, for they are persuaded that John was a prophet. So they answered that they did not know where it was from. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. There's no one better here with wisdom for addressing these kind of questions than Jesus. So this is the authority chase, part two. And they wanted to stop Jesus from teaching in the temple. And so they challenged him, where did you get your authority for this? Jesus flips the thing on them right here and he says, okay, you answer this question for me and then I'll answer your question. And notice what it, when it comes down to it. Do they consult the word? Do they get the scrolls out and try to figure out an answer? No, they are dealing entirely in terms of polit political uh, situation. Well, if we say this, the people will think this. Or, but if we do this, the people will think this. So their answer is not according to truth. Their answer is, uh, you know, we can't do this politically, and we can't do this politically. So their answer was, well, we, we don't really know. So, so Jesus said, well, therefore, I will not answer your question. So Jesus, when they went political, and when they needed to go spiritual, Jesus said, you have no authority. I'm not answering. I'm not responding to that. You don't have any authority because they had gone political. You get it? When people go political on us, we need to continue with God as our authority. His word is our authority. And there's an example from Jesus, a very interesting one, to apply day by day. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Jesus utterly put these people in, a, in the rough spot, and it's because they insisted on answering politically. They did not answer in good faith. Lord, help us to recognize who our spiritual authorities are and who our spiritual authorities are not, that we may always follow thee. So this, Lord, is our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, may you be a faithful follower of Jesus and always in the authority chase. Always follow Jesus' authority, and you will be safe no matter what happens. His blessings be upon you.